Well, hello, this is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries, and today we have, I think, a special treat. This is the algorithmic screw, and the algorithmic feature is used to make the screw, and the, uh, this model here is fantastic because it has a lot of choices that you can have, and it's a algorithmic feature that you could use to do screws. When you do assemblies, it is really important sometimes to put the fasteners in, but in many cases, if you get them from McMaster Car or someplace, they have the threads in them. So um, that slows you down and it's not necessary. So this algorithmic feature can be used to uh, get a whole bunch of different screws. Now, in order to do this algorithmic feature, you have to be pretty good at programming. And luckily, we have a person here at Design Visionaries who's really amazing. His name is Landon Ritchie. And he put this thing together so that we could use it and... and uh, you know, and, and interact with it, and it's going to be good for our assemblies. So now I'd like to show you one of the uh, tools that he used uh, called Group and Ungroup Nodes. So first, I'm going to demonstrate how this thing works. I'm going to just delete the one that's there. And I'm going to go to our little, uh, our little reuse library and select the algorithmic screw here. And what we have here is we need to choose the size so I'm going to choose an M6. We need to choose the length. I'm going to do um, 24, let's say. You choose the uh, head type, whether it's socket, pan, or flat. I think I'll do socket for this one. You need to choose the drive, whether it's hex or Phillips or flat. We'll do a hex since it's a socket head. And you simply say OK. And there you have a model of the screw. It's fantastic. Now, like just like any other feature, though, if you want to change it, you can. You can edit the parameters and you can say, well, <clears throat> I really wanted it to be longer or I wanted a different head type. For example, let's do a pan head with a Phillips and say OK. And it changes like that. So this is really, really uh, powerful and useful. Now I'd like to show you some of the fine points of how this was created, uh, typically or specifically the group on group. So I'm editing the definition of this, uh, this feature. And as you can see, uh, there's just a few blocks. It really doesn't look that complex. Um, but it's a little bit deceptive because real, in reality, what you need to do is a lot of selection. And there's if statements in here. So when I open up this quote unquote head selection block, what you can see is that it really has a lot of different blocks inside of it. So this is a really powerful tool, the fact that you can group these nodes and ungroup them and make your programming, if you will, simpler as it goes along. It's almost like making little subroutines, right? It's really very similar. So there you can see that there's actually a lot going on in each of these little blocks. So that's really powerful and it's amazing. Um, Landon was able to put this together very, very quickly. And certainly if there's anybody out there who has valve heads, if you've got uh, engine blocks, if you've got something, well, not an engine block, but maybe a piston, um, a lot of um, different tools, if you will, that um, require a lot of choice and, and would require kind of a almost a classification. We can build these for you. So uh, we would be absolutely delighted to do it um, at Design Visionaries. That is our whole charter is to have a visionary way of designing things. And so you can call us, you can email us at info at designviz.com and we can accommodate you or just give us a call. Now, let me show you how um, this group on group thing works. So for example, I have here a block, uh, a programming node, if you will. It's called select face and I've got the expression node in there and I've got, let's say the number node so I've got a bunch of nodes. I can have 10 or 20 or whatever. And uh, all I do is uh, make a box around them to select them and say group nodes. When I say group nodes, I can give it a name. So for this one, it's going to be Steve's new group, just like that. Say OK. And voila, there is now a programming block, if you will, a little subroutine, a bunch of nodes that are all together in one nice little group. Well, I can shrink it down like this and now it looks very uh, streamlined in the rest of the 
um, in the rest of the uh, feature. So that's fantastic. Um, if I click on this and I say ungroup, ungroup, and I say OK for confirmation, then all the nodes come out of that group again, and there you have it. So that is a very, very pow powerful technique that you can use. Um, this algorithmic feature function is truly amazing. It opens up doors and makes things a lot easier. And if you have a whole library of these things, um, you're, you can really go much faster with your designs. Um, thank you very much for uh, your viewership. Um, please uh, give us a call or, or, or write us at info at designviz.com. Um, we would love to help you out. Um, this is a real privilege to be part of this community. Um, we love to be helpful and we love to uh, create these things for you. So um, please, if you like this video, subscribe, help us out. Um, uh, thanks for being part of a wonderful creative community and uh, hopefully we'll see you online. Thanks again.